Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This morning we'll pray hymn 821. 821. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen again. Come, let us adore the Lord, for he is our God. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Come, come let, let us adore, adore the Lord, Lord for he is our God. God. The mighty God, <coughs> God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it. And the dry land shaped by his hands. Come, come let, let us adore Lord, the Lord, for he is our God. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Come, Come let, let us adore, adore the Lord, Lord for he is our Lord. God. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my way. Come, let us adore the Lord, for he is our God. For forty years I was weary of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger. Never shall I enter my rest. Come, let us adore the Lord, for he is our God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, Amen. let's adore the Lord, for he is our God. We pray him 821. The kingdom of God is justice and joy, for Our Jesus restored what sin would destroy. God's power and glory in Jesus we know, and here and hereafter the kingdom shall grow. The kingdom of God is mercy and grace, and captives are freed, the sinners find place. The outcasts are welcome, God's banquet to share, and hope is awakened in place of despair. The kingdom of God is challenge and choice, believe the good news, repent and rejoice. His love for us sinners brought Christ to his cross, our Christ of justice again for his loss. God's, God's kingdom has come, come, the gifts and the goal. In, in Jesus began, in heaven made whole. The heirs of the kingdom shall answer his call, and all things cry glory to God all in all. <coughs> Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. On the mountain in the city, cherished by the Lord, the Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this will be her children. And Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, these are her children, and while they dance, they will sing. In you all find their home. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glorious, Glorious things are told of you, O city of God.
The Lord is coming in power. The The prize of his victory victory is with him. Behold, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He'll feed his flock like a shepherd. He'll gather the lambs in his arms. He'll carry them in his bosom, and gently lead those that are with young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and marked off the heavens with a span, <coughs> and closed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or as his counselor has instructed him? Whom did he console for his enlightenment? And who taught him the path of justice, taught him knowledge, and showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are like a drop from a bucket, and are accounted as dust on the scales. Behold, he takes up the isles like fine dust. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor is beast enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are counted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord, the Lord is, is coming, coming in power. In the the prize, prize of his victory is with him. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain. The Lord is king, the peoples tremble. He is throned on a cherubim, the earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let him praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right, and you have established equity justice and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion his footstool. He the Lord is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will, they kept the law, which he the Lord had given him. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives, yet you punished all their offences. Exalt the Lord our God, <coughs> bow down before his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Each one of you has received a special grace. So, like the good steward responsible for all these different graces of God, put yourselves at the service of others. If you are a speaker, speak in words that seem to come from God. If you are a helper, help as though every action was done at God's orders, so that every, everything God has may receive the glory through Jesus Christ. Amen. I called with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I called with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commandments. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and, and he will deliver us, us from the hands hand of our enemies. enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old. A Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our Father is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our Father to grant us a free from the hands of our foes, who might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called the prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, to forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will deliver us from the hands of our enemies. The response... We adore you, our Lord and our God. We adore you, our Lord and God. We adore and praise our God, who reigns above the heavens. He is the Lord of all things, and before him all creation is as nothing. We adore you, our Lord and God. Eternal Father, it is by your gift that we praise you. The wonder of our making is only surpassed by the splendour and joy of our coming to life in Christ. We adore you, our Lord and God. Lord, be with us as we start a new day. Move our hearts to seek you and our wills to serve you. We adore you, our Lord and God. Deepen our awareness of your presence. Teach us reverence and love for all that you have made. We adore you, our Lord and God. To know you is to love those you created. Let our lives and our work be of service to our brothers and sisters. We adore you, our Lord and God. <clears throat> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, shed the light of your glory on the peoples who are living in the shadows of death, as you did long ago, when our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Justice, came among us from on high. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safe this day and evermore. Amen. Amen. And we now pray for vocations to the priesthood. Eternal Amen. Father, we thank you for every priest that brought to us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who call the Apostle to follow him, we ask you to raise up a new and generous vocation to the priesthood. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them to recognize the joy of giving the whole of their lives in love through Jesus, Jesus our, Lord, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. <laughs> Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Celia Hadigan and for peace in war torn countries of Africa. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> you came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. The prophet Elijah rose like a fire, and his word flared like a torch. It was he who brought famine on them, and who decimated them in his zeal. But the word of the Lord, he shut up the heavens. He also three times brought down fire. How glorious were you in your miracles, Elijah. Has any one reason to boast as you have? Rousing a corpse from death, from Sheol by the word of the Most High. Dragging kings down to destruction and high dignities from their beds. Hearing the reproof of Sinai and the decree of punishment on Horeb. Anointing kings as avengers and prophets to succeed you. Taken up in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses designated to the prophecies of doom to allay God's wrath from the fury breaks, to turn the hearts of the father towards their children and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Happy shall they be who see you and those who have fallen asleep in love, for we too have life. Elijah was shrouded in the whirlwind and Elisha was filled with the spirit. Throughout his life, no ruler could shake him and no one could subdue him. No task was too hard for him, and even in death his body prophesied. In his lifetime he performed wonders, and in his death his works were marvelous. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, Rejoice you just in the Lord. Rejoice you just in the Lord. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. The many coastlands be glad. Clouds and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. Rejoice, Rejoice you just in the Lord. A fire preferred his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His lightning lights up the world, and the earth trembles at his sight. Rejoice, Rejoice you just in the Lord. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all the peoples see his glory. Rejoice you just in the Lord. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All the spirits worship him. Rejoice, Rejoice you just, just in the Lord. Lord. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus said to his disciples in your prayers, do not babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him, so you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be held holy. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. And do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Yes, if you forgive others their failings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either. The Gospel of the Lord. A lot of miracles were attributed to the prophet Elijah. He was one of the greatest prophets of the Old Testament. And that first reading from Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, another name for the book of Sirach, is a hymn of praise in honor of the prophet Elijah. In the gospel, the Lord's prayer is a summary of a long prayer the Jews pray every day called the 18 benedictions. A prayer leader proclaims, glorified and sanctified be God, God's great name throughout the world, which he has created according to his will. May he establish his kingdom in your lifetime and during your days. And the assembly will respond, may his kingdom May his great name be blessed forever to all eternity. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus injects something new. His disciples had to address God with the familiar term Abba, the Aramaic equivalent of Daddy or Papa. Jesus tells his disciples to maintain this special relationship with the Father, which is consistent with the Christian belief that in Jesus we have become God's adopted children. St. Paul reiterates this special privilege as proof that you are children, he says, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Let us pray. Father, Father, your love is boundless and limitless. May we witness to the love you have lavished on us by letting us be called your children. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the men, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacraments, grant to pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion <clears throat> for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy One, reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should turn down on my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Amen.